What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Pokatristi here, and today I am bringing you guys episode number two of our Learning Laddering series right here in the RU tier on Pokemon Showdown. If you guys are excited, make sure that you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you could for me. And also, if you guys missed out on our last episode of RU, it should be down in the description below, as well as the links to the playlist for our other series, our other Learning Laddering tiers, rather. OU, UU, and RU have already gone up this week. If you guys missed out on any of those, make sure that you go over there and check that out, and like and comment over there as well for me if you could. Now, I want to start off by saying that last episode we did really well in the NU tier. Uh, unfortunately, we got a loss at the end, and I found out that we were pretty weak to dark type and poison type moves there toward the end. A dark poison type like Skuntank uh, really gave us trouble, and uh, Haunter also gave us trouble. So, I decided to take out one of our most fun mods and replace it with a mod that is going to help with our uh, weaknesses, and that is Kangaskhan. Ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to go with Kangaskhan. Now, it is very rare to see Kangaskhan used without a Mega uh, Evolution, but Kangaskhan is going to come onto the team here in place of Pineco. Pineco was fun to use for an episode, but I think it's time to get a little more serious and have Kangaskhan on the team. Now, why was Kangaskhan a good choice for the team? Well, first of all, it's ability scrappy, which lets you hit fight, uh, lets you hit ghost type moves with uh, with normal and fighting type moves, uh, and that is really nice because Ghost usually resists those two. Uh, typings so that is always nice for Pokemon like Haunter or Miss Magius uh, that we couldn't really hit hard or mischievous uh, that we couldn't really hit hard any other way aside from Kangaskhan so uh, right now Kangaskhan with Scrappy is our best bet against ghost types uh, we have leftovers on it because it has no real way to recover any uh, HP. It's moveset, Aqua Tail, Return, Fake Out, and Sucker Punch. Aqua Tail is there uh, basically for Rhydon because a lot of people uh, bring Rhydon in on a Kangaskhan from what I read up on Kangaskhan. Uh, that Rhydon is the wall to Kangaskhan. So an Aqua Tail should definitely take out Rhydon or at least take it down to a uh, an acceptable amount of HP if it doesn't KO, even though it is four times effective and Kangaskhan is really strong. Uh, also, we have Return, which is a normal type stab move. We have Fake Out, which is also stab. And we have Sucker Punch, which is priority. Uh, return or Fake Out and Sucker Punch are really nice. We have double priority moves. So uh, that's really nice. Kangaskhan hopefully is going to put in some work. Other than that, I like the team. Uh, Kecleon didn't do a whole lot last episode, so hopefully Kecleon can come through uh, as we, <laughs> we show up here and we see a Kangaskhan on the other side of the field. That is really interesting because we didn't see any Kangaskhans last episode and here we are in this episode and we see one now. Looking at this guy's team, right away I feel like he's kind of weak to Zatu uh, because Grass Knot is going to hurt Sandshrew, uh, Psychic is going to hurt Weezing and Hariyama. So I need to keep Zatu healthy and alive. I need to get rid of the Haunter and the Pharaoh Seed is kind of a problem as well. So I think my best lead right now, honestly, would be Archeops, just in case he decides to lead with Pharaoh Seed. Uh, if he doesn't, then we'll figure it out from there. If he leads with Sand Slash, then that's going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, if he leads with Kangaskhan to get off Fake Out damage, that's also a problem. But I think we should be okay to lead with Archeops. He is going to lead with Hariyama to get Fake Out off. So I'm actually just going to switch right out into Gramble here to take this Fake Out relatively well. Um... We're not. I mean, uh, he's, he does have he does have some priority as well with bullet punch. I don't know if Hariyama gets uh, bullet punch. I meant mock punch. I don't know if Hariyama gets bullet punch. If it does, that's kind of a problem. But I'm gonna just go ahead and straight up switch out into Grand Bull, get the Intimidate drop, and Hariyama is gonna switch right out into Pharaoh Seed. So Pharaoh Seed is gonna switch right in. I actually probably should have stayed in Heat Wave, expecting that, but. Uh, I did not, so that was a good prediction on my opponent's part. I'm going to go right out into my Archeops. He's going to lead seed, so I can go straight for a Heat Wave here if I really want to, or I can Sky Attack, uh, predicting something else to come in. I'm actually just going to go ahead and go straight for... I don't know if a Sky Attack is actually going to kill this. I'm actually going to Calca just to make sure. Um, Pharaoh Seed, NU Hazard Setter. Against my Archeops, I'm kind of curious. I really want to know if this thing kills. Uh, if he does then we're going to be in good shape. If not, then uh, then I don't know. We'll, we'll uh, figure it out. A Sky Attack. Sky Attack is not a KO. Heat Wave definitely should be. Uh, it isn't It, it isn't a KO. Heat Wave is not going to KO this thing. Uh, so he's going to protect. I'm going to show that I have Heat Wave, which is fine. Um, he's going to get some damage back as well, or some... Uh, He's going to get some Leech Seed back as well, which is 
Not good, but I'm just going to go straight for another Heat Wave. He goes out to Hariyama. Hariyama's going to eat that up. We actually missed the Heat Wave. Uh, that's a little sad. That makes me a little sad. Um, so I almost have to switch out into Granbull here. Uh, unfortunately, I let, me I let my Archaeops get uh, too low in HP right there. Uh, for my liking, that is going to be a problem a little bit later on. But right now, I do not want to risk the Thunder Wave, predicting him to switch out. I'm well, yeah, I do. Do I want to predict him to switch out and go for a T-Wave? I'm actually going to do that. Uh, he he goes, he goes, stays in and goes for knockoffs. So this is going to be a Guts boosted, whatever he goes for now. Uh, unless he's thick fat, but I'm sure he's Guts. That was a, mm, that was a big mistake. Uh, he actually gets paralyzed. I'm going to get a play rough off, and that's going to do a ton of damage right there. Uh, so he's going to go for, I'm assuming, a Bullet Punch or a mock punch. Either way, it's not going to do a ton to me. I'm actually going to outspeed there and kill his Hariyama. So that's a big threat on his team gone. I'm really surprised that he's let it stay in and uh, face certain death right there. That's kind of interesting, but uh, player up does have that chance to miss, so I guess it makes sense. I am going to go out into my Kecleon here. That's my best play, because uh, we're going to eat up the Sludge Wave. And we do not get poison, which is nice. So I'm assuming he's going to switch out, so I can actually switch out into... Uh, maybe he thinks I'm going for Shadow Sneak, so he might switch out to Kangaskhan. I almost want a Power Up Punch here, but I'm not going to do that. I think Sucker Punch is my best play. Uh, I think Sucker Punch is probably my best play here. I actually am going to switch into Archaeops. I don't need Archaeops, and if he does... Okay, he went to Sand Slash. That's not good, though. Um, we are going to outspeed. I think a Sky Attack should do something to this thing. Um, I know it's resisted, but it is stab and it's really strong. I'm gonna say he's offensive rapid spin. Maybe he's defensive. I'm gonna say he's defensive. Um, he's definitely probably defensive if he switched in. I said definitely probably. Uh, sky attack is gonna do about 50%. So, worth it? Uh, it does about 50%. I guess it is worth it. He does get a stealth rocks. So,. I can go for an Acrobatics here. I'm pretty much sacking Archaeops, so we actually get a crit and knock out a Sand Slash. The crit did matter there, uh, so uh, kind of lucky on that, but you know, that, that's the kind of thing that happens. That's, it's Pokemon. Unfortunately, he does get his rocks up, which is going to break my Raichu Sash. Um, he's going to go straight for a Fake Out here, so I can switch into my Brand Bull and take this Fake Out pretty well. I think that's my best play. Uh, even though next time I switch into Archaeops, I am going to be in Defeatus range. Which is not good, but we are going to get the Intimidate here on Kangaskhan. He's going to go for Fake Out. That does a lot. Uh, it is Stab, though, so I guess that makes sense. I can go for a Play Rough here and hit anything hard. Um, I'm just going to go Play Rough. Whatever he brings in is not going to appreciate it. Pharaoh Seed appreciated it. Uh, Iron Barbs. <laughs> Iron Barbs is going to hit me hard. Uh, let's see. What's my play here? I could go Super Fang. I think that's my best play. Uh, if he's Gyro Ball, that's not going to be good. Maybe he's predicting me to switch out. He goes for Spikes. That's actually fine. Uh, Super Fang is going to is going to do a good bit right there and take him down to pretty low HP. So um, I'm actually just going to switch straight out into my Archaeops here and go into the Fetus range. I don't really need Archaeops anymore. Uh, he is going to Leech Seed, which is fine. He's going to Protect here as well. Um, so I can actually just go straight out into my Zatu to get off a Heat Wave. Or a Psy Shock would be smart as well. I mean, he's he's going to protect. And I don't have much for this thing, to be honest. I'm actually just going to switch out in Zatu here. Because Archaeops does survive one more switch in, which is nice. He's going to protect. It's going to fail. So I can go straight for a Heat Wave here. Hitting Haunter pretty hard, I believe. Uh, if I do go for Heat Wave. So, Heat Wave is my best play. He actually goes out into Weezing. Weezing's definitely going to eat that up. Uh, but he's not going to outspeed me, no way. So, I'm actually just going to go for a Psy Shock here. Uh, Psy Shock, unfortunately, does hit on the physical side. But it is super effective, and it is going to KO Weezing, which is nice. I don't know why that was the switch in there. Uh, if he goes out into his Haunter, I can just sack off my Archaeops and go straight out into Kangaskhan to get that priority. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Go straight out into Archaeops and sack him off to the Shadow Ball here. So I'm going to go straight out into Kangaskhan. I'm sure he's going to switch out. 
do I want to do that? No, I think I'm going to go into Kecleon here. And go for a power-up punch. I think I'm going to go into Kecleon and go for a power-up punch against this thing. It's going to take a lot of damage to uh, hazards, but that should be okay. As I am just going to go straight into Kecleon now and go for a power-up punch, predicting his switch. Uh, we are at a low, a low amount of HP, but power-up punch still, still should do some damage. Uh, he goes out into Sparrow Seed. That's fine. We're going to power up punch. It's going to do a good chunk of damage there. Now we can go straight for a Drain Punch. Uh, if he wants to go into his Haunter, that's fine. But he's not going to. He's going to take the Drain Punch. And uh, we are going to be at 37% here. That's a little scary. Kangaskhan is going to come out. Uh, fake Out, I don't know how much it's going to do. Probably a lot. It's probably going to kill me. But if Fake Out does kill me, then I can go out of my own Kangaskhan and get off Fake Out as well. And then uh, a Return or Sucker Punch. Um, I'm actually just going to go for a Drain Punch here just in case we live. Uh, we definitely we do live. Uh, he does have Sucker Punch though. So do we. So maybe I Sucker Punch him first. I think that might be my best play. Sucker Punch. He actually gets Sucker Punch off first, uh, which is strange because he does outspeed me for sure. So that's interesting that he got Sucker Punch off first. Uh, this, this, uh, the hazards are definitely going to come into play here, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to go straight for Fake Out, though. He's actually going to protect. He's Protect Kangaskhan. Okay. Um, that's interesting as well. So what is my play here? I think I have to go out and Gramble and live whatever hit he hits me with, hopefully. We're not living this. There's no way. He's going to go for a return, and we're going to go down. Um, Raichu's definitely not going to live a Sucker Punch. Neither would Zatu. I could Roost and try to live one. But even then, I don't really do much back. So uh, this is kind of unfortunate for me. Because I think we might end up losing simply because of hazards. So the one thing that uh, Pineco actually did for the team uh, with the hazards actually ends up costing us this match probably. So that is very unfortunate for us. Uh, he's going to switch out into his Haunter. Really good switch there on my opponent's part. Predicting the Focus Blast nicely. Um, I'm sure he's Scarfed, so he's probably going to do a lot to me. But I can't. I, I have nothing. I mean, I really can't do anything here. So I almost have to Thunderbolt. And we do get a crit, and we kill. I don't know that the crit mattered there, to be honest. So he's definitely going to go into Kangaskhan and go for a fake out. Um, which is fine. I can go out into my Zatu here and maybe take this fake out. As he is probably going to go for Sucker Punch next turn. Can we live? We do not. So uh, we are going to end up losing this to a Kangaskhan. Uh, how ironic it is <laughs> that we are going to lose to Kangaskhan, which is uh, very unfortunate. As I'm just going to go straight for a return here on this thing as he's going to protect up. That's what I figured he would do. Um, I can Sucker Punch here, but no matter what he does, uh, my Raichu is going to get taken out by his. So it is not... Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Sucker Punch is going to connect, but it's going to do 27%. He's going to return. Uh, maybe I should have gone for a turn in hindsight, but uh, just assuming that he was going for Sucker Punch there as well. So he's going to Sucker Punch here and knock out my Raichu more than likely. Uh, he's actually going to Protect, which is an interesting play. But I'm just going to go straight for Focus Blast, and uh, he's definitely going to Sucker Punch and KO my Raichu because Raichu's defenses are really... Oh, we lived! Can we hit? We missed. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. I really thought we were going to die to that Sucker Punch, so that is very unfortunate that we missed that... Uh, Missed the Focus Blast, and we are going to lose. Um, that's uh, that's very unfortunate, but my opponent played well. He did what he had to do. Uh, I'm surprised that, surprised that we lived the Sucker Punch. Even more surprised that we uh, missed the Focus Blast, even though I shouldn't be surprised that we missed. Uh, so that is going to push us right back down on the la in the ladder. So uh, that's unfortunate bit of a stinging loss to start the episode off, but uh, you know that's fine. It's not a big deal. We are just going to have to look for another one, and hopefully we can redeem ourselves. Uh, it's very ironic, though, that I put Kangaskhan on the team to uh, to help wall Ghastlies, or, or not Ghastlies, but Haunters and whatnot, and then uh, we end up getting beaten by a Kangaskhan, which we didn't see all of last episode. So that is really uh, fairly ironic. So now, let's see, now we have a 
pretty nice team here. Uh, the, the Vivian, I think that's how you say it. The Vivian is kind of scary uh, because of Quiver Dance and whatnot. We do have Heat Wave though, so that's fine. Um, if he wants to play with Claydol, we do have Kangaskhan or Kecleon for that. So I think I, my safest lead is Kecleon, to be honest. Uh, Kecleon actually might be my safest lead. Uh, I don't think Kecleon is needed, like, or is used to usually be a lead, but Claydol is his lead. He is going to go ahead and try to get up uh, rocks. So I'm actually going to switch into my Zatu here to magic bounce his rocks away, hopefully. He actually goes for Psychic, which is interesting that he did that. So I think I go for Grass Knot here. Uh, he's actually going to switch out into his Vivian, so that's not going to do anything, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to have to go for Heat Wave. We're actually not living this bug move, though. We're not living it. I'm actually going to probably have to switch out into Granbull here. As we're not going to live uh, whatever hit he's going to go for. If he, if he does decide to Quiver Dance, then that's scary. He bug buzzes. We are resistant, so that's good. Um, bug buzz is a special move, though, isn't it? So uh, Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to just go straight for a uh, Play Rough, I think, because nothing really comes in on this uh, very well. So we're going to go straight for a play rough. He's going to switch out into his Hariyama, who is not taking this play rough well at all. Um, we are not going to be able to get the... Um, we're not going to be able to get the... The... Uh, what's it called? The Intimidate drop. We're not going to be able to get the Intimidate drop, which is unfortunate. Uh, Granbull is going to recover a little bit of leftovers, but Poison Jab did hurt. I'm not sure why he outsped me, actually. Well, I guess Granbull's really slow, but I, I thought Hariyama was slower. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it makes sense, I guess, but still. Granbull should probably be faster than he is. This is a really slow Pokemon, which is kind of sickening to think about it, but uh, it is a really slow Pokemon. I don't know what this is going to want to do to me, too. Uh, maybe it's going to Destiny Bond, but if it does that, then I can pretty much run roughshod over his team. Uh, I'm actually going to go for a T-Wave. He actually paint split, so I go for a T-Wave here. That's really good for me, as we are going to... Uh, Get a Thunder Wave off on this Miss Magius, make it a little slower. Go for a Play Rough. It is going to connect. It's going to do a lot of damage. He's going to Destiny Bond, so we can't kill it next turn. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is switch right out into my Kecleon, hoping that he goes for Shadow Ball or something. He actually goes for Pain Split. That's going to... That's really... That's not good. So I'm actually going to go for Shadow Sneak. And we do get the crit and the kill. I don't know if the crit mattered, but it probably did. Uh, we do end up getting the kill, though. That's really nice. Uh, Kecleon is a ghost type now, so I don't really know what this thing's doing now. Uh, we're just going to Shadow Sneak again and do a ton of damage to Claydol. Claydol is actually going to Dazzling Gleam us and do nothing. So I'm actually going to Sucker Punch here because it's going to do more. If he decides to go for an attack, then uh, that's an interesting play for him. I really could Power Up Punch. I'm actually going to Power Up Punch on his Switch, hopefully. I'm actually going to Power Up Punch, expecting for him to switch out. Um, if he goes for a Dazzling Gleam again, though, then we're in trouble. But I don't know that he wants to do that again because I didn't really get hurt by his Dazzling Gleam, so. I'm actually going to start the timer. I, I always forget to start timer until about halfway through the battle. We do power up punch the Vivalon here, the Vion or whatever it's called. So we, uh, we don't get the boost. Is there a reason we didn't get the boost? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure why we didn't get the boost there. That's a little weird to me. Uh, but if he wants to go for a bug buzz, he can kill me. I don't really care. I don't really need Kecleon too much. Well, I could use it for uh, Clay Doll, but I don't really need it. I'm just going to go for Sucker Punch and get off as much damage as I can. Uh, it is going to do a lot. Psychic is not going to affect me after Sucker Punch, which is really interesting and really nice. I'm actually going to go for Shadow Sneak. Maybe we can kill this thing. Uh, maybe not, but maybe so. It would be nice if we could get the KO here. We do not, unfortunately. He's going to go for Aromatherapy. Uh, I don't think anybody on his team was... Had any... Um, I don't think anybody on his team had any uh, ailments. Any status ailments. So, we do go for Shadow Sneak. It's going to do a little bit to Ludicolo. Not too much. Uh, I'm just going to go straight for a Power Up Punch here. And then a Drain Punch after. Uh, he actually goes for Fire Punch which is an interesting play. We are going to go for the power-up punch. We are going to get the boost. And now I think I Shadow Sneak my way to victory, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're not outspeeding this Ludicolo. I kind of want to go for Drain Punch, actually, to be honest. As he's going to Giga Drain. We're going to live. Uh, we can Drain Punch, get some of our HP back. That's nice. Uh, it's nice HP. 
and now we are in a good spot with Kecleon. So, uh, like I said last episode, Kecleon didn't really put in a lot of work last episode for us, but right here it looks like we are going to get a 4-0 with Kecleon, or a 5-0 actually, I believe. So that's really nice. Electivire is definitely outspeeding. Uh, I might have spoken too soon. I'm going to go for Sucker Punch. It failed. So what does he go for here? Thunder Wave. Um, don't, it doesn't matter because I do have Shadow Sneak and I do have Sucker Punch. So I'm going to go for Sucker Punch again. Uh, it's going to do a lot. He's going to live and thunder me. and he, Of course he connects with the thunder. That makes so much sense. But I'm just going to go for a Shadow Sneak here. It should be enough to take this thing out. Should be enough to take this thing out. We get paralyzed, uh, so poor Kecleon is not going to be able to come away with a 6-0. However, I think I just come in and win with any Pokemon that I want. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to actually go straight into my... Um, I'm going to go into my Raichu, because I want to get the one with Raichu. Uh, that's the only reason. I'm actually going to Nasty Pot up to make sure that I can kill Claydol with a Grass Knot. Um, he's actually going to switch out into his clay doll. So I'm going to Nasty Plot up. We're going to go straight for a Grass Knot here, as that is probably the best move to go for against this clay doll. We will hopefully get the KO with Grass Knot, as we do get the... Let's get the uh, we do get the knockout with Grass Knot. Excuse me. We do get the knockout. Uh, Vivian is going to come out. I'm just going to go straight for a... Uh, I feel like going for another Grass Knot just in case he wants to switch into Electivire. I'm actually going to go for a T-Bolt though. It's going to connect. It's going to kill the Vivillon or Vivion or however you want to say it. <laughs> uh, and he's just going to bring out his Electivire to get KO'd by a Grass Knot. So that is going to be good game to my opponent. We almost got a 6-0. Unfortunately, we were uh, just a little bit shy. We got paralyzed by uh, we got paralyzed by Electivire. So that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and look for another battle, though. That was a that was a pretty good battle right there for us. We did a lot of things right, I think. Um, my opponent's team wasn't too threatening to mine, though, so we did end up coming away with a victory, a pretty easy one at that. Um, Archaeops, I don't even think got switched in one time in that battle, which is really interesting. Uh, I needed a Kangaskhan. I don't think. Uh, I know Zatu did, I think, at the very beginning, but um, other than that, <laughs> uh, it was a pretty pretty easy battle there. This guy right here is, uh, hmm. He's got Lantern, which Lantern is always really annoying. He has a Crustle, Zatu, and a Torterra. So, I would imagine that a Torterra lead is coming my way. I don't have any Ice-type moves. That is a little scary. Um, however, I do think I can just leave with Archaeops here and get off a get off a sky attack. Nothing really wants to come in on it, to be honest. He's going to leave with Crustle, which is fine. Bug Rock. Uh, actually, I'm going to calc this and see what I can do against this thing. Uh, Crustle. The Rock type kind of scares me. Uh, stone Edge is definitely going to kill it. So I'm just going to go for a Stone Edge here. And we do miss the Stone Edge, which is unfortunate. He's going to hit his Stone Edge, uh, which is just justice at its at its finest. Um, honestly, I can go straight out in the Grand Bowl now and go for Play Rough. Uh, that's a little unfortunate um, for us. I mean, he did have Sturdy, so I guess it didn't matter. I probably should have gone for a Sky Attack. Uh, but it, I, like I said, it doesn't really matter. So um, I'm just going to go straight for Play Rough right now. On his Crustle, not sure if he wants to switch it out as he does into his Lantern. Uh, we miss a play rough as well, so uh, two turns and two misses. That is not the way we want to go. Uh, Lantern, I guess, is kind of defensive. I really don't know. Uh, he's probably going to have Bolt Absorb or Water Absorb. I could, I, I just, I don't know. Play rough, I, I don't know what play rough is going to do, so I'm actually going to calc it really quick. Uh, are you defensive? Or end you defense, it doesn't matter. And then Lantern. Who is a supportive pivot Pokemon? Grambles, Play Rough would have done about 30%. So he's I think he's actually gonna volt switch, so I can go under Raichu. Uh, if he doesn't volt switch, then that's kinda bad. He does volt switch, so we are gonna get uh, a nice special attack raise here. As I can honestly just focus blast this thing. I don't know how much it's gonna do. Um, Lantern. Um, uh, Raichu, sorry. 
Raichu, Nasty Plot. We are plus one in special attack, since I did switch on the Volt Switch. Uh, Grass Knot's got, not going to do anything. Um, Stall's not going to do much to me either. Focus Blast, can I kill it with a Focus Blast? I cannot, it only does half. So I'm actually going to have to switch out here as he might probably end up going for Skull. Uh, or I can just Focus Blast predicting uh, that he might switch. So I'm actually just going to go for a Focus Blast as we are going to miss the Focus Blast. So that is three moves that we have missed so far. Uh, that would have been a two-hit KO on this Lantern, unfortunately for us. Um, I can Nasty Plot up. If I get up to plus three, I wonder how much I, uh, I wonder how much a focus blast does at plus three. It is not enough to kill, so that just it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, nothing's really going our way right now in this battle. We've missed <laughs> we've missed every single move that we've gone for so far, which makes me a little sick to my stomach. But that is the way of the world, ladies and gentlemen. That is the way that it goes. I'm gonna go straight for a power up punch here. He goes for a U-turn. That does so much damage. Why? That does so much damage. U-turn is going to just destroy us right there. I'm going to go for a power up punch on whatever he brings out. Probably Zatu. Well, I'll take that back. I would say Lantern or uh, Torterra here more than likely. It's actually Krussel, uh, which is fine, I guess. Uh, Krussel's eating up everything. I'm actually just going to go for a drain punch here. He's going to put up his rocks. I'm going to Drain Punch, get some HP back. Uh, he cannot live another Drain Punch, so that's kind of nice. I'm just going to go for another Drain Punch then, as he can't live another one. He does outspeed, which is kind of disappointing. If he hits me with a Stone Edge, we're dead, but I have to hope that he misses the Stone Edge. If he misses Stone Edge, then we're in good shape. Uh, he actually goes out into Scyther to this Drain Punch, which is fine. Um... I wonder if a Sucker Punch kills this thing. Because Scyther is not all that defensive, so I'm actually going to look this up really quick. Uh, Kecleon, bulky attacker, we are plus one. Um, against a Scyther. Let us see what we can do here against this Scyther. Uh, Shadow Sneak is not enough, Sucker Punch is not enough as well. So Actually, Sucker Punch, it's a roll. I'm actually... Mm, I really want to go for Sucker Punch. I have to hope that his four EVs are not in defense. If they're not, then it is still a roll. So, uh, I'm actually just going to Sucker Punch here. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to switch into Grand Bull. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to risk that. I'm not going to risk the roll. I'm going to get the Intimidate off on Scyther. He's actually going to Aerial Ace uh, and crit my Grand Bull. That is. Oh man. We are not having very good luck in this match, guys, unfortunately. Uh, Granbull is going to get critted again and go down. Um, boy, I just don't i don't know what in the world to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. I am just completely dumbfounded. I'm assuming he's going to switch out uh, right now, so I'm going to Nasty Plot on his switch. Um, he switches out in a Lantern. I'm going to Nasty Plot up. And I'm going to go straight for a Focus Blast, and if we don't hit it, then... That is pretty much the way it's been the whole match. It's not going to be enough. Uh, Focus Blast is not enough to it KO this guy. We are actually going to lose this battle, uh, no doubt about it. But that was the way that it was going to be from the very start, unfortunately. I'm going to go for another Focus Blast. I have no reason not to. Uh, if we can hit, that'd be nice. We did not get a critical hit, so that is going to be our right shoot down. And uh, unfortunately for us, I'm going to have to go into Kecleon and go for a Shadow Sneak. That was stupid. I should have gone into Kangaskhan and gone for a uh, Fake Out. But instead, I'm going to go into Kecleon, go for Shadow Sneak, and we are going to be enough. Uh, it is going to be enough to take out this Lantern. Um, there's still a chance we win this match, but it's not a good chance. <laughs> uh, Scyther is a big threat and a big problem, so I would almost have to sack off. I would almost have to sack off my. Wait. Okay. Um, this is probably going to kill me, to be honest. I could Sucker Punch here just to get off some damage on it. Uh, I think that's my best play, it's just a Sucker Punch. Get off some damage, and it's going to do a little bit. Rock Climb is going to take me out. I don't know why he has Rock Climb um, on his Tauros, but I'm going to go out into Kangaskhan, get a Fake off or fake Out off, and uh, go for Sucker Punch after that, and take out this Tauros, hopefully. Um, if a Stab Sucker Punch only did 44, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to kill 
He's actually going to switch out his Torterra here on the fake out, which is fine. Not sure what this thing has for me. I'm actually just going to go for a return here. Uh, return's going to do 33. Woodhammer is going to do. <laughs> Woodhammer is going to take me out. Uh, so that is not good. So just as I was getting happy and confident with our 5-0, we are going to get 5 0 right back. So that is kind of disappointing. Heatwave is going to connect on his Torterra. Uh, Zatu cannot win me the game because he has a Zatu of his own. He's actually just going to go right out into Tauros here. And I guess. Uh, taunt me with his Tauros. I am going to go for Psy Shock as Rock Slide of course connects for him and he's going to get the win so uh, that is probably the saltiest match that we're going to have on the channel I would imagine. Uh, this guy said GG I really don't want to say GG back because he hacks the whole match. Uh, not necessarily that he hacks on purpose but that he uh, got a lot of luck in the match so I was kind of salty from the beginning because Stone Edge from our Archaeops uh, misses and his Stone Edge is going to hit and it just went on from there. We missed like the first three or four moves in the match. So that is just really, really disgusting. And it makes me really disappointed. Uh, but with that, guys, I think we're going to end the video right there. Not because I'm salty, just because it's been... Uh, let me check the time, actually. It's been a nice 31-minute video. So I'm actually going to end the video right here. If you guys did enjoy, though, if you guys enjoyed me being salty, if you guys enjoyed uh, watching me get lucked all over, then make sure that you hit the like button. And make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part of the NU series has been so far. And uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to tomorrow when we do some Little Cup. I'm going to just do some Little Cup tomorrow. We're going to see how well it's received. And if you guys like Little Cup, then we will uh, continue. If not, then we'll find something else to do. But I'm going to try Little Cup tomorrow and see how we do in that. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.